time after interviewing Death himself, we're here with Satan and a couple corporate raiders to tell us what the fuck is going on out here. So, we're gonna zoom in over here, uh, Snowy, and we'll get a little interview here. What's your name? My name is Sebastian. Sebastian, he's gonna tell us his take on why the people are here today. Okay. Well, um, I mean, all these guys here, the 99%, are here because we are in power. As the politicians and the CEOs, with our friend Satan here, and uh, it looks like they don't like us taking all their money. I don't know why. We are happy. They should be happy for us. Um, so we don't want yeah. skinny cats. <laughs> yeah, we don't want them to be the greedy ones. So we are. And um, so we came here to join us and represent through our um, takeoff. Um, uh, the flag of our fathers and uh, the famous monument instead of having soldiers and the actual American flag having the CEOs and the politicians with our friend here uh, you know, himself. put in the, the flag the, the real flag of our you know wealthy 1% uh, in front of their faces this poor 99% that they don't know what you're doing, they're doing. And uh, it looks like they're getting tired of voting for people that don't change anything. So we came to remind them that, um, that we're still strong and powerful. So, so here we are with them, so they don't forget. So as you can see, Snowy, these guys were still in character there just for a moment. Let's let's get their real names now and uh, just do a quick interview of who they really are. Who do we have? You guys are actually a street theater group, right? Yeah, we're called like Garachos Company. Find us on MySpace. Oh, cool. La Cook La Cook on Facebook. Facebook. Nice. You guys want to give your real names? You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, I'm Bob. Bob? Char. Chuck? Bill. Bill? I'm actually Sebastian. So, but he's yeah. really Sebastian. <laughs> but he's I'm not no wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we really appreciate you guys being here. We just want to come out and support you guys. We do a little local show, like I said, and uh, Seriously, after giving the one percent side, what, what's your real take on why you guys are here? What's, if you could sum it up in like one sentence or like two sentences, what I would you feel, say the reason you're here? I feel that the main reason is symbology. Symbology. Yeah. Cool. That's one word. Easily recognizable symbols are quickly interpreted. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. That's what we're doing. True. Yeah. And you know the the, the, the group is you know more than 400 people here. And uh, the interesting thing is that in the last two weeks, people have found in, in this park, in the assembly, we were like a block down the street before initially, but wherever we are, being outdoors, leaving the TV at home, turn it off, and coming here, Americans found that they can actually come to their neighbor, neighbor and, and talk with them about their suffering and their ideas, right on. and uh, not just be quiet and waiting until voting day to, to express themselves. You know, and, and I think that on its own, this whole thing, what is happening in Wall Street and here in Albuquerque and throughout the nation, has been a great success, even if it would die tomorrow. Because people found that they can come out and come together and talk, and even with, when they have completely opposite ideologies. Uh, we came together and people here in the park have realized that the suffering is very much the same. So in that 99%, there is people from the far right and the far left, there's people that are poorer than others, but we are starting to find the common ground and uh, that, you know, we are not... Um, it's not about your creed, it's not about your color, it's not about your nationality, it's about we're all suffering the same way. That's right. We need to turn the shit around. That's right, and so that's very the most interesting thing that has happened in the, this last two weeks, and it keeps growing. It keeps growing, it keeps growing, because there's, hasn't, there's no change and um, so it gonna, I think it's going to grow until uh, the politicians and the CEOs start, uh, you know, really fearing what is going on. Well, I think they're, I think they're already really afraid of you guys. Yeah, the youth are always the movers and shakers of why, of why change comes about. So, as someone who's like the last of the baby boomers, and, and we sold out, my heart goes out to you guys because you guys, you guys can make a real difference here. You guys are like the future. You guys can really change this. Thank you so much. People. Thank all you guys again for coming out here, doing a little show Thank for you. us. And I think I think you really are planting that seed in people's minds as they're going by, because that symbology is everything. All right, guys. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you.